Hi class, my name is Jacob Margulies, and for this specific presentation, I have chosen this album as the best representation of my self-concept, and this is Whitechapel's second album. This is Exile, and just in case you cannot see it, I also am wearing the t-shirt, which would help, you know, kind of accentuate what I value in myself in this presentation, and I have Pick this album specifically because it best represents my own personal identity as kind of like a rough around the edges type of dude who kind of like enjoys like a lot of different things throughout life and it is very abrasive and rough which kind of helps sums up some of my social needs amongst my music listening tastes and some of my social needs that come along with this specific niche of music would be some of my cultural needs, some of my in-groups, and amongst that with my friends and people that I tend to socialize with, such as with each artist speaks to each individual listener in a different sort of aspect. And with that, this type of music, which is specifically called deathcore, gives me an in-group type of feeling with the community locally and on a broader scale. And by that, I mean that we tend to listen to the same music, we discuss it, we could talk about different artists and how it makes you feel on the inside and kind of like the meaning that it brings to you when you listen, create, and support your favorite types of artists. And also, along with that, with being part of the in-groups is also something along the lines of camaraderie and community with our cultural needs that are kind of easily identifiable by what music we listen to, by what bands we like, by what specific artists. I mean, it doesn't not necessarily have to be only metal, but we could listen to, you know, rap, K-pop, other sorts of genres, and all those culminate into a kind of cultural norm where we all kind of express our creativity through music mainly, which really helps me express myself personally in the last, I'll say, five to six years mainly. And also, on top of that, music really describes me as more of an individual than I would say any other hobby I really have in particular, because music is more describing yourself than I would say like playing a sport or being with a sports team just on my personal level and my personal experience with that it kind of reinforces the original concept of of being togetherness and being creative and being one with your true self as in sometimes when you listen to specific songs or or you hear a sound it, it makes you feel a certain way that you really cannot describe to another person so you just have them listen to it so then so you guys could gain the same level of enlightenment through sound which is incredible and sometimes could be really really great for your spiritual healing and on that we also have some social comparisons that we do have with um, amongst ourselves and other groups of people in within the same genre and same community of the metal but with that it kind of helps us find our own individual like attitude and shapes our own abilities to create music and be our own unique person which is really really helpful like for me and my friends who love to express ourselves through music because we have taken time to go to studios to, to just play together just you know get our feelings out there through instruments which is more of a creative outlet which really helps us like personally on a deeper level kind of like do some social like healing and kind of like finding some like attunement of our soul which is really really helpful and i recommend it to anybody just pick up any sort of instrument and just you know give it a shot whether it's a guitar a piano drums you want to sing you want to produce music any of it will help you with fine tune your ability to kind of express how you feel on the inside which also leads into another concept that i find really riveting which is the self-concept of who i am and each specific artist 
really defines who they are by the sound that they create and the kind of music that they put out there in the world and not everything has to be to everybody's liking because sometimes you're feeling kind of sad so then so your songs are not going to be as a beat and tempo as they normally were or sometimes you're feeling a little bit more angry so then so your music would be more abrasive and rough around the edges that not everyone's gonna instantly like pick up on the spot just because of how you're expressing yourself but it kind of helps you realize who am I on the inside when you are feeling those kind of negative or positive emotions and which also leads into where do I belong and after releasing those sort of built up emotions and having those realizations of you know what me making happy sounding music angry sounding music or all forms of expression makes you happy then you kind of feel you found your little niche part in making music and being part of a certain community which really does help you fine tune what kind of person you're going to be and your outlook on life which I find is very, very important. And on that note, I will end this just on with one of my favorite quotes that I found recently in the last couple of days, where it is, music can name the unnameable and communicate the unknowable by Leonardo Bernstein. And on that note, have a good day, guys.